Alright, so starting again, starting anew from that blunder where I just got completely lost and had no idea where to go. This is clearly a new area, or at least an area where I haven't gone yet. So I don't recognize any of this stuff. Wow. It actually hurt a ton. No, not that one. Not that attack. Not that cheap one that comes out from the ground. So, today we might finally meet Crazy Screaming Man. Who I saw a couple episodes ago, and just didn't know how to get to him. Which was sad, because he clearly needs some help. Help, you know, he needs someone help. Not just anybody... Help. You seem taller than the others. But maybe it's just optical illusion. Large Titanite shard. Okay. In uh in the in Demon Souls, the glow that your character gives off was actually explained by like a pendant your character had from arriving. In Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, the glow that your character has for no reason, never explained. In this game, it's not really explained either. <laughs> I think I can tell what it's supposed to be. And I think I can tell that it's supposed to be the fact that... Also, hello. Where am I going? It's supposed to be the fact that in the dark, you can still see a few feet in front of you. So, the whole... Okay. Why was this made? <laughs> Unless this is supposed to be like a lore that the stair went all the way down to the bottom. That wouldn't make any sense with nothing there. Oh, speaking of which, there's a whole area and one of the things, like a big valley that I just never found how to get to. Oh, another bonfire. It's real dungeon. So this has to lead somewhere. Okay. I should have expected as much. So here we are. The Erythrolidal Dungeon. What am I doing here? Don't know. Also, that's a very loud scream. What the hell? I was ready for an enemy to attack me, not... Oh, great. You stupid things. Another area to just run through and not care about. That guy looks scary over there. Are you also going to scream? That I took your Titanite shard? Freaking coin? A rusted coin the guy screams about? And it's death? It's, it's locked. Really? Okay, nothing here unless it's a secret. Nope, nothing. Uh-huh. Okay. That's one locked. Check that one already. You seem familiar. How did you bounce up like that? What? Okay. First question, where did all my health go? Second question, what the hell was that attack? Yeah. Don't think I didn't notice the fact that 90% of my health went away. Okay. And now I'm also slow. And what the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I losing health? Like max health. This is kind of cheap that this isn't introduced at all and then suddenly dumped on you. 
And also I spawned without health. Why? Yes, I'm opening this, because why not? I don't understand. And, oh, okay, my health comes back eventually. I'm having a legitimate problem understanding how these enemies work. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay, fine. There's nothing that can be done about that attack. Nothing. It just it just pokes you while you're down. Automatic death. They always spit that stuff. Also, stop trying that. They always spit that stuff. So maybe that's my opportunity to come in and destroy them, right? So now I need to wait for my health to come back, like the rest of it. Okay. So it comes back in pieces, I guess. I'm perplexed. Also, the enemies in this area clearly try. Will you shut up? For Christ's sake, it's a Titanite shark. It's locked. The window is locked. Okay. So the enemies were clearly trying to push me down into this area. Nice, 1,000 damage on that. Hey, don't punch me, jerk. I'm not afraid of any of you, and I can wreck all of you, no problem. Except you. You take two swings for some reason. It's locked. You better drop- no, you didn't drop a key. So since they were trying so hard to push me into this area, that means this area must be incredibly dangerous. Okay. Nice try on that one. That's also locked. Gonna have to get a key and then go through this entire place all over again. Nice try on that. Again. Old sorcerer's hat. Hmm. Anything worthwhile here? Does not seem to be. Wow, you do not stagger at all. Awesome trapped. Gotta heal up before the bleeding starts. Got great magic shield. So it is worth it to go in and kill those things sometimes. Just not often. Alright, so if they pushed me in here, would I have been pushed in there? I gotta find out where that would have pushed me. Hmm. Run up here. Like, if that thing had successfully pushed me off the ledge back here, where would I have landed? 
just in here. Nothing special at all. Alright, so we're next. Another one of these damn things. Can I open you now? Does not open from this side. Does not even want a key. Come on then. Breathe your stupid fire. What? Does looking directly at it hurt me? Nope. Just, just being anywhere near it. Do not understand. Do not understand. I clearly need to wait for my health to come back. Okay, so it like blows out the fire in its lantern. And when it blows out the fire in its lantern, then it's safe. So it's kind of like red light, green light. Pale pine resin. Wonder what that does. You are disgusting. You're really gross. But you know what? You're not gonna touch me. I won't touch you. Okay. So this is a new area altogether. Is it? This place has a big, big sufferer of, uh, Everything looks the goddamn same syndrome. Okay, well now I have Jailbreaker's key. This can probably go around opening everything. Also, what are you and why are you so gross? One heavy attack does in fact kill you. And I almost died there. Oh, nice soldering iron. What the fuck? There's another one? Christ's sake. I gotta clear this place out. Chill. Clear this place out. And then explore the fuck out of it before I rest at a bonfire and bring these assholes back. They clearly had a lot of fun designing these guys. I like the design. I like the way it looks. Whoa. Okay. So you are an asshole. Unlike your friend up there. You deserve to die because you're a dumb piece of shit. And you're also hideous. I see something down there that I should kill. Doesn't that open from this side? Okay. So, I don't know. I know going after this thing is probably going to kill me. Okay. So you're a disgusting piece of shit. Ugh, everything in this game is gross. First, everything in this game is scary. Then everything in this game is gross. Also, I aggroed one of those... I'm gonna just call them Wardens. Oh, great. So this is where I'm going now? What fun. I'm not even halfway through this area. So I can't even move on yet. Fine, I'll open your door for you. Are you going to be an asshole? Yeah, you are. Yeah. 
sit the fuck down. Alright. Well. That door doesn't even open from this side. So it may as well not be there for now. Everything in here has been cleared out. I never want to go through this room again. Ever. In fact... I'd happily really not go through this place. So then, I run over here, he lights his torch. This guy is still just attached to the wall. And he is looking right at me. But I killed all his brothers, so, okay. Is the story supposed to be that that thing is so scared of this thing that it broke through two walls to hide there. Okay, you're going down. Which one of you is the master one? The worms in your tummy. Large tighten it, sure. Okay. So, I know Dark Souls always has a great attention to detail, but that's just intriguing. That this this thing, this ugly, gross thing, is so scared that it claws through that wall, and okay, <laughs> and that wall, just to get in there. It's a bit weird. So now where do I go? I would like to go up and back around. But did I jump down the gate here is the question. I think I did. Unless this is a staircase. No, it's not. So I, I clearly jumped down to get here. Off of a ledge that I couldn't get back to. That that thing is still throwing me off. Because oh wait no this is right back to the beginning. Never mind me. All right, so now that I have the jailbreaker key, this should open. It should take me to this item. Bellowing Dragon Crest. What does this garbage do? Greatly boost sorcery is great. It's exactly what I didn't care about. Don't you dare do your stupid shit. I'll come back for you guys later. I'm not quite done exploring this area. So this is where I got the jailbreaker key. Can't believe there's this whole area that I just missed. I went and killed like two or three bosses just not knowing this was here. It's a doozy. This area really is quite the shock, you know? Like it's, it's not something you'd really expect. Some of the beauty of Dark Souls, though, there's a lot of stuff you don't think is going to happen. I mean, at least I look like a brave, badass warrior now. Look like. Maybe I am, but the key word here is that I look like one. Because of my nice armor set. And the fact that I can cleave through bad guys in a single blow. The giant axe, which is awesome. Okay, so here's the beginning, beginning, right? Yeah, here's the beginning. And one of these doors didn't open, right? Yeah, this one. It's locked. Cannot use jailbreaker key. Okay. What about these ones that were locked? I know there was like one or two, right? It's locked. 
Well, okay. You could have fooled me. Psyched me out really hard here. I got the jailbreaker key, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah I get to, uh, you know, break things out of jail. All it does is open this damn door. It's got me a ring. Oh, oh, never mind. It's also a... I told you guys. Told you guys from episode one that this kind of crap was going to happen. Told you from episode one. Well, that's fine and dandy. This time, let's get the jump on this guy. Nice. Don't need to deal with his shenanigans. That guy has tried to push me off every time. And I've just never let him. Okay, so, um... What was I even saying? Oh yeah, I can cleave through enemies in a single blow. It makes me look like a total badass. My giant axe. And I took a swig of Estus when I really shouldn't have. But yeah, the, uh, the, the key... I guess it makes a nice shortcut. It's really convenient to be able to not have to go through that entire treacherous place all over again. Thank you, Mimic. If you can't tell, the way to decipher whether or not a chest is real or a Mimic is which way the chain is facing. If the chain is pointing towards you, don't open it. Oh, another rest of the shard. Nice. Now I get nine? I hear a crystal lizard. I also heal uh, some deathly bellowing of a horrible beast. Oh, hello, friends. Ready to cleaved? Cleaved. Get it? Because you have cleavers. You guys ready to get hammered? You should uh, lay off the drink, friends. You seem different than the others. Very different. Different to the point where I'm not gonna... Okay. Hmm. So I can go through here and get eaten by whatever the hell that thing is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I am not diving in there. Or maybe I will, to intentionally land on its head with a plunging attack. Nunchucks or no. Just some generic double sickle things. There have never been nunchucks in Dark Souls, right? No, there haven't. There shouldn't be, by the way. It doesn't fit the aesthetic of this game at all. In my opinion. Ultimately, though, if you want to put them in, I don't care. People want to use them, they can use them. Just balance them. Like anything else in this game. You ask me, hey, can I put this in my game? I'm gonna tell you, of course you can put it in your game. Just balance it. Just make it right. You. You are. Far, 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 far bigger. Far bigger. Than any of these people. Anything that I've ever fought. By far, you are gargantuan. In comparison to anything else. You really just seem like one of the four great ones. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back up the ladder. And I thought it was like some kind of... There's a ladder here, right? I thought it was some kind of like disgusting... Like, plague monster beast. It kind of is. Here's a ladder, okay. I really thought it was just that. But, um... I have nothing to lose right now. And I can't avoid the thing, right?
Why didn't I ask this before this? Uh-oh. Missed that one. Nice. 317 on that guy. This is like God of War-ish right here. Except that whiff. Okay. You know, you should get up a little faster so you can take some Estus. How am I supposed to hit your hand if you're too busy dragging it across the stage? Come on, do your double-fisted thing. Or that, that works. Damn it. Yeah, this should get some hits in. Miss. Come on. Come on. You'll be able to hit more than twice. Nice. To be able to finish it here. Ah, oh, close. God damn it. I just shouldn't have locked on for this fight. Yeah, I'm not just gonna I'm just not gonna lock on. Ow. Don't knock me away. Ah. Wow. That's some fantastic lag. Mm -mm -mm. So what's the uh what's the strong suit here? What's the way forward? I don't like how, even if you don't take any damage at all, no damage whatsoever, when they drain your max health, when it comes back, it does not come back replenished. I really don't like that one bit. Okay, so I got that chunk, and I got the souls. See? Not so bad. Don't kick. Cut his fingers off. Damn it. Double fist. Damn it. Oh wow, I missed on my own that time. How much? Two more hits, should do it. And I walk into that. Not gonna heal, because this guy's not gonna give me time. That's insane. That amount of damage is absolutely nuts. Okay, I can dodge this. Finally. And the crystal lizard hasn't despawned. Or, I mean, like, evaporated. Alright, well that whole nonsense has been settled. At least you don't get poison or curse. Alright, so uh... 
How do I get down there? To enjoy all my loot. Obviously not by jumping down. Also, if I jump down here, it's probably a very bad idea. Seems like I would live, but I don't want to risk that at all. What's up here? Anything? This seems like a non-thing. <laughs> really seems like it's not a thing at all. Rats. Thanks for interrupting my attack. With a tiny poke. Uh oh. You guys aren't tiny pokes. But you uh, still have very little health. Because you're disgusting rodents, you probably have a bunch of diseases on you. So I'm glad I'm doing the world a service by getting you out of this world in general. So where does this go? I see some interesting things in these cages. I have no inclination whatsoever to even try fighting these people. I want nothing to do with that. Not with 22,000 souls, maybe with zero souls. I'll run in there a couple times. Trying to kill them. Here's something croaking, but I'm not sure what. Are both of these mimics? This one's not. Is it a trap? Old cell key. Well, I think I know where this goes. And this one's a mimic. Okay. Mimic fight time. Oh. Okay. I did not know that the Mimic and the Basilisk were working together. Also, I looked up and I did not see any of you. How the hell did you all jump out at me the way... Why are you all, you know, stealthy? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dark Clutch Ring. Okay. I, I was a little skeeved out why or as to how the uh, the chest the chest monster the mimic was all stealthy and hard to see and dark probably just the lighting error but nonetheless it scared me a little bit so this doesn't go anywhere well nowhere that I want to go absolutely not. I have an old cell key, but that just seems like death. Like, any way you slice it, it just seems like death. Like, from this drop. It's clearly just death. Maybe if I had the cat's ring or something, or maybe if this was Bloodborne, I'd try it. Try going in there. But no. Not now. Okay, let's just run past. Okay. These things sleeping? No. That one's clearly awake. That one looks like it's chained up, but no, very well, it might not be. It's okay. I think I care. I think I'm scared of you guys. I'm capable of fighting my way out. Not until you do that bullshit on me, and I try to heal an idiot. What the fuck are you guys even doing? If I knew they could spit acid 
all day long, I wouldn't have been so bold. It's like a mouse trap. If a mouse pokes his head around the corner, you cut his head off. Don't notice me. Thank you. And you're the jerk who's still alive. Or one of them. So you, come on. I'll do this- What the fuck? What the fuck? I had no way to counter that. Like, I would happily have- Okay, it doesn't open from this side. I would happily have not done any of that had I have known that he could just auto-kill me. Still locked. Oh, great. I'm not falling for that. I'm not letting you live. Don't want to fight this thing either. It's locked. Great. So the key that I just got doesn't do anything for that. I'm just not going to stay in this guy's line of sight. I'm just going to leave. So what was the key that I just got, if not for that exact cell? No idea. I'm sure I'll find out eventually. That was some great timing on that guy's part. To hit me as soon as I land. I envy that. So now the giant's dead, which means I have easy passage. That much is known. Are there any cells in here that need to be opened? Don't think so. I can't even get that way. There's nothing there for me. Alright, so where did I die? Some disgusting pit over here. Surrounded by freaking baby monster things that look disgusting. Like real babies. This ain't the way, is it? Must be. Yep. And this is where I did fight the rats initially. Okay. So you're both giant assholes this time. And you both lived from two attacks, which you should not have. Oh yeah, I forgot this attack does that. Should probably use it more often. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Damn you. Now attack that thing. Now I need to wait for my health to come back. Okay. I'm not liking this completely unavoidable damage. Also, let's buff ourselves. Let's see how this works. Not even a one-hit kill with a buff. Damn it. No. It's ridiculous. The fact that it can hit through this pillar is stupid. And are you gonna fight me too? And there you go. All of you assholes down. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Absolutely not. That's fine. I'll wait here till my health comes back. Dark Souls the waiting game. I don't mind it. I'll sit right here. And wait for those guys to pass. <sighs> I need to definitely not fuck up. Like when I come out and kill one, I just need to kill it. And then I need to kill this one. And then run and hide. If you want to come in here, I'll happily end you. Oh, that was a bad time to drink. No, 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 no. No. Absolutely not. That's stupid. Okay, time to wait again. Just Dark Souls the waiting game. 3.0. This whole mob of creatures, this disgusting trap, it, it's all... All, like, I'm just gonna be so happy to be out of this area as well. This game has a lot of areas like this, just areas that I don't want to be in. Areas that I just legitimately do not like. Like the idea of, the concept of, the theme of... Are you shitting me? And that guy was just being an asshole hiding out right there. No one on the ceiling. No one on the ceiling, no one in the corners. Xanthus ashes. Dust crown ring. You know, those aren't effective past the like third one, you know? Embers. Oh great. This is all guaranteed damage fighting these guys. There's no way to not take damage because the, the health draining effect itself is locked, okay. The health draining effect itself means that when your health comes back, it, it's not replenished. It just comes back as an empty bar. Which is dumb. You know, that's fine. I really wasn't expecting that to work, but oh well. It worked. Secret walls. Oh, well, so I opened this cage and killed that guy. For why? Titan edge shard. That's fine. So it's double check, triple check, quadruple check this entire goddamn area because I never want to come back here again. Where does this go? Okay. I'm just gonna leave that be. No comment. Please be a good shortcut. Please be a very good shortcut. I see that. This is kind of a good shortcut, I think. Oh well. Now I kind of know where this area is, so I should be able to find it if I do die. I'm sitting around with 37,000 souls, just casually walking around with one Estus flask. Well, two. Gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see if this uh, has any secrets. 
highly doubt it. Nope, that's just death. Okay. Wonder what the dragon torso stone does. Nope. Is this a key item? Oh yeah, give that to the handmaid. Dragon torso stone. Dragon torso stone. Stone imbued with the power of everlasting dragons used in a secret rite by dragon worshippers gain the torso of a dragon and a dragon's roar. A transformation that is irreversible until death. From ancient times, the path of the dragon worship was walked by warriors. It is said they envision Arc Dragon Peak in the depths of their meditation, and at times they even hear the distant sounds of the Great Bell at the peak. You mean Airy Peak? Dark Souls 2? Okay. Sounds a bit like uh, hippie talk to me. Meditating and seeing dragons of ancient times. <laughs> Alright, this episode is definitely dragged on way too long. And uh, I might even have to split it, like, with the YouTube editor. But, you know. I think that door was locked. I'm going to try one more time to check it out. And then we're going to go through that big arcway in the middle. See where it takes us. Yeah, door's locked. Right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's find out how this how this whole thing is supposed to go.